I'm delighted to get Mitchell Levy onto the show. He's the AHA guy at AHA, that, which is a people publisher who works with various platforms and partners to help people get their AHA messages to those that need to see them. I know what you're thinking. What is AHA, that? What are AHA messages? Have you drank too much? Have you eaten too much, Neil? Have you lost the plot? But the answer to these and many more questions are about to be revealed as I beam your ears all the way to Cupertino so we can speak with Mitchell Levy from AHA, that. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Mitchell. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Sure. I'm I'm Mitchell Levy, the AHA guy from AHA That, and I empower experts, thought leaders, and companies to share their genius. All right, so you say, well, what does that mean? At the end of the day, we all have some inherent power in us. There are things that we do. There are ways that we serve an audience. And what has to happen is we need to communicate to that audience that we are experts at what we do. And let me give you a tiny definition, an easy definition of expertise If somebody pays you to do something for them, guess what? You're an expert. You get more than one person doing it, you really have expert. You got a lot of people doing it, you become a recognized expert. So what we do is a done-for-you book writing service where we focus on your expertise and make it easy for you to share to other people that you are expert at what you do, what you get paid on, what you do to help other people uh, solve the issues, solve the problems that they have. Now you're talking my language. Now, when I was researching you, I quickly learned that you are the AHA guy at AHA That, which is a people publisher that works with various platforms and partners to help people get those AHA messages to those who need to see them. But for people hearing about me talking about AHA moments for the very first time, can you just tell them exactly what AHA messages are and exactly what the AHA platform is too? Oh, sure. And and by the way, I, I noticed when you were writing that you do the AHA A-H-A, yeah. and some people do AHA A-H-A-A. So here's what we do. AHA is A-H-A. There's no right or wrong. It's just we chose this one. So <laughs> I use AHA A-H-A. So the platform is AHA that, A-H-A-T-H-A-T dot com. First, let's start with an AHA message. It is a short seven-second, five-second soundbite that absolutely gets you thinking about the world in a different way. So I did a, I did a TED Talk, and it was on uh, – the title was called Being Seen and Being Heard as a Thought Leader. And I also wrote a book that's in hardcover paperback. And, and what I want to do is let me read for you an aha message from the book so you get a feeling about what that is. I'm going to read AHA number four, which actually happens to be from a guy by the name of Robert Clancy that has a half million followers on on Facebook. And here's what it says. It says, good thought leaders are at the top of the mountain. Great thought leaders are at the bottom of the mountain helping others climb up. Okay, that was what, four seconds, five seconds? Yeah. When you hear that, you can't help but say to yourself, well, first, am I a thought leader? Uh, Okay, are you a thought leader or a recognized expert? Second, am I standing at the top of the mountain barking orders, or am I at the bottom of the mountain helping people get up? Am I at the bottom of the mountain? What am I doing tomorrow to help other people climb up? What are the things that – you know? if you start saying to yourself, based on one simple thing you you hear, are you, you say to yourself, ask yourself all these questions, that's an aha message. It's, it's designed to help people recognize your expertise of what you do. As a matter of fact – I do want to read one more, and and, uh, this one is from a book called Being a Catalyst for Success. Author's name is Bill Wallace. He is by far the number one servant leader I've ever met on this planet. And so he's been running a group in Dallas, Texas called Success North Dallas for 30 years. And and in his book, his aha number three, here's what it says, and, and tell me if it doesn't make you think differently. It says, living a good life is determined by the smiles that appear on the faces of others every time they see you, and they keep that smile after you've gone. Love it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, absolutely. And I've got to say, I must interject here and say that I think the only reason I spelled aha the way I did was maybe revealed my love of 80s pop or a guilty pleasure of 80s pop and the pop band um, aha. Oh, that's funny. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but, I mean, you are an accomplished entrepreneur that has created 20 businesses in Silicon Valley, including four publishing companies that have published over 800 books. But can you tell me more about your backstory and how it's helped your passion for spreading inspiration and empowerment to those that want to succeed in life? 
You know, I am no. As you can hear, I'm American. Yeah. Um, that that accent's hard not to distinguish, <laughs> and I I will say I'm a stupid American, and you could argue or not because I only speak one language, English. Right. And as far as you're concerned, it's not even it's not even Queen's English. It's American English. <laughs> That said, here's what I do speak. I speak marketing. I speak sales. I speak engineering. I speak finance. I I actually can hear when somebody's speaking in a language and the person next to them is not – even it's the same language, they, they're not quite understanding. I'm a great translator of reading body language, seeing intuition, hearing what people are saying and putting it into the language of the recipient. 